Hey guys, it's CJ Hess Productions here, and I'm going to be doing a review on this new software I just got. Uh, I downloaded it this morning, I think. But yeah, it's very cool, and I decided to do a review like right away, so I'll be uploading this soon. Okay, so this new software I got is called Audacity. It's very cool. It's sound editing software. And y'all gonna be reviewing it for you guys today. So this is it, basic setup. Up here, you can see it has a pause button, a play button, stop button, a skip to the beginning button, skip to the end button, and a red dot, which is the recording one. First, you do need a mic for this software. Right here, I got one. Pretty nice mic. And, well, first I want to say that you can use the mics from Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Most people actually use those and they work fine. They actually do a pretty good quality. But we have this nice mic right here. So, you want to record your voice. And before we start, I want to tell you guys, don't speak directly into the mic or else you'll get the sound of your, of, um, the wind from your mouth, well, I don't know what's called, like the air hitting the mic, and it's not, it doesn't sound good at all. So, you guys don't want that. So, sort of speak away from the mic, not with your back to the mic, just sort of looking to the side so that air does not hit the mic because you do not want that sound. Okay, so I'm going to record something. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. Okay, so as you guys see, I let it go a little while, and I'll show you why. I'm going to play it real quick. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. You hear all that nasty sound in the background? You do not want that. It just sounds horrible. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of it with Audacity. So you highlight this little strip of sound. You want to let it run a little while so you can get some sound. So you go to effect and look at all these effects. You can all these are different ways to like edit what you've recorded. So you go to noise removal, you do get noise profile. So now you have a profile of the noise you want to get rid of. Highlight it all. And now that you've got um a noise profile, go to noise removal again and this little bar, I, if you get the most updated version, it has three bars. Get the first one and move it all the way to the beginning. And then hit OK. And that just reduced all that noise. So let's see what it sounds like now. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. Oh, uh, it didn't work that this time. Is I'm going to try it again. I don't know why it didn't work. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. It's interesting. It's never done that before. Okay, so I'm going to highlight some more sound. Go to noise removal. Get noise profile. Oh, wait. Then highlight the whole thing. Noise removal. I need to do it like that. Noise removal. Here we go. Move it all the way to the beginning. Hit OK. Boom, that should work. Let's hear. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. Uh, not bad. It's pretty cool. So now that you've get that now that you've got rid of all the sound, you can highlight all this. Hit delete. And now it's just what you're saying. And I wish you got something cool that's gonna come in handy for my future videos. Okay, so highlight the whole thing again. Go to effect. Go to equalization. Now this is cool. Uh, see, there's a bar. You want to lower. It's at zero decibels. You want to lower the ball, the bar, <laughs> all the way down. And then, once you got it all the way down, you want to start at ten thousand, at one thousand hertz, and raise it. Whoa, that's not one thousand hertz in the world. Oh no, I'm having a little 
trouble. Oh, whatever. Oh, let's get this over to 1000 hertz. So it needs to start, right? Isn't that 1000 hertz? And then lowers to 10,000 hertz. And you don't want like a triangle like this. You want to uh, make it sort of a hill. Um, make it a little more smooth. Okay, so you can hit preview. This is Caleb Hess recording his. Okay, let's hear it sounds all together. This is Caleb Hess recording his voice. Ha, that's pretty cool. But you can have it like that, and look, with all these effects, you can just toy around and get what you want. So this is an awesome software, and you can also change the pitch of everything. Uh, like maybe if I wanted to talk really high, we do this, and this is Campus recording his voice. So you can play around with the pitch to get. Also, if you have sound effects, you can put them here. And if it's not quite what you wanted, you could change the pitch to have what you want. And you can also make your voice sound deeper. So maybe if you're voicing, if you do have film and you're voicing more than one character, then you can change the sound of your voice to sound like different people. Like This is Caleb S. recording his voice. That just sounded weird. I meant to make it deep. But yeah, you can tour around with this. There's like unlimited stuff that you can do. It's really cool. So once you're done, just go to File and save project and then you can save that to your or put it in your video editing software and then you'll be done thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe hope this helped if you guys have further questions then just um send me a message and thanks thank you guys for watching see you guys later